The Virginia flag flies at half staff Sunday at the state capitol, a somber reminder of the more than 10,000 Virginians who died from coronavirus. We pause today to remember their lives. The King. Pastor Ralph Hodge of Second Baptist Church in South Richmond joined people across the Commonwealth for a day of prayer and remembrance during a live streamed virtual service. Oh Lord, comfort their hearts. One year after the first COVID-19 death was recorded in Virginia. They weren't just statistics. They weren't just numbers. They were real. Their lives mattered. Hodge encourages families not to only mourn their loved ones, but celebrate them. When someone passes, God blesses us with memories. But I remember the last text she sent me. She said, I love you too. Memories are all Sheila Clanton has left of her niece, Sivy Robertson. The Petersburg woman and healthcare worker died on January 1st this year after her family says she contracted coronavirus on the job. Because she was dedicated to her job tireless working to take care of the COVID patients, never really realizing that she would succumb to COVID. Clanton uses this day of remembrance to warn others not to let their guard down yet. COVID took a big chunk out of my family. And most importantly, she honors the life of a nurse, mother, and friend taken too soon. You are my hero. Always love you. I miss calling you, Sibby Michelle. Thank you for your sacrifice. On this COVID-19 Remembrance Day, City Hall behind me is illuminated red to remember the lives lost to the virus. The governor is calling on others to do the same with their homes and businesses this week. Working for you in Richmond, Tyler Lane, CBS 6 News.